Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial is going to be painting on a fabric hoodie. So I'm doing a design which is Cowboy Bee Pop. One of my friends really likes the show so I thought I would give it a go and try and do a design on a hoodie for him. So I thought I'd take you through this tutorial and show you how you can paint or draw on your own hoodie. It's really simple. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps now. So obviously you're going to need your hoodie. I've got this hoodie here. It's a cream coloured hoodie. It's actually quite a close knit fabric so it's going to be quite easy to paint on. If you get kind of a wool or textured fabric it's going to be a bit harder so try and get a fine knit. And what I've actually done already is with a pencil drawn on my rough design. So use a pencil or maybe even chalk if you're really not great at freehanding it and you don't want to have to rub out pencil and all that kind of stuff. Maybe use a bit of chalk. Because this is a light coloured fabric, I've just used pencil. Then what you're gonna need to do is buy a fabric medium. This one is from Liquitex. I'm gonna put a link to everything that I use in the description below. These are just aids to the paint that help the paint not crack when you're washing it or when you're stretching or anything like that. So these do really, really help with that. Obviously you can paint direct on with acrylic but it may come off a bit in the wash so I would definitely suggest buying a fabric medium. So the ratio of this with paint is 50-50 so the same amount of each. I'm going to start by having a rectangle of black and before I start that I'm going to put a bit of card down the middle of the hoodie and this just means that any paint if it was to go through it's not going to go through onto the other side. I'm also going to put some through the pockets so there are some pockets here and um, because part of the image that I want is here I'm going to put a little bit through the pockets as well. Okay so you want to make sure your surface is flat so I'm going to start with my black paint I've got some acrylic black paint here so I'm going to squeeze a bit onto my surface there you go and then I'm going to squeeze some Liquitex medium here so I'm just going to start by mixing that together and this is a matte varnish so you're, you're going to want a matte one and not a gloss varnish as I figured out in one of my other videos that did not go well. You're not going to use water with this at all otherwise that will thin it out too much. So I'm going to start Just a little tip guys, wash your brushes straight away after using them because they do get really sticky with the acrylic medium. Okay, so I'm going to go with this red colour next and I want like a gradient going down here, um, like from dark red to kind of lighter down here. I've got my red colour here, I'm going to mix it with a bit of black, just to make it a bit darker and then obviously the fabric medium and then I'm going to carry on doing the design. I'll probably do a time lapse maybe of the design that I'm doing. Okay, so that's my design finished. I'm now gonna pass you over to my friend who is gonna model this piece. He is gonna show you how to iron the piece and how to set it all. Hi guys, Freddie here. Um, I just wanna show you how to finish up the artwork when it's all complete. So step one, smooth it out on your table or on an ironing board preferably. Uh, and then we wanna cover it up with something like a tea towel. And what we're going to do is apply a little bit of heat. I've got this set to low and there's no steam. So I'm just going to um, apply it in a circular motion, a little bit of weight, not too much. And what we're hoping to do here is to seal the, the colours. But we're trying to make sure that there's no colour transfer onto the material, which can happen, so be careful. And we want to do this for about two to three minutes until it's finished.
thanks for watching this video today. This is my friend Fred. He is going to share some of his socials with you guys. Hi, uh, uh, you can find me on Instagram as Fred underscore does underscore fitness. If you want to see anything to do with fitness, strength, posing, or some like light humor, you know where to go. If you enjoyed this video today, please give me a like and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all soon with a new video. Bye guys.